What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Ambitions Vapa. Today, I got a review on a very unique single coil RDA. You guys have probably heard about it. It's on the Hadley RDA by Cyclone Mods. I don't know if it's called Hadley. All right, I don't know how to pronounce shit. I butcher shit. All right, <laughs> let's take a look at it. <laughs> So the Hadley, that's how I'm going to say it, was sent to me from Cyclone Mods for the purpose of this review. Thank you very much, Mac, for sending this my way for review. It will not change my opinion. This is a very unique RDA. It's a single coil RDA. It's 22 millimeters in diameter. It's a very, very small RDA. But with that said, this thing packs a punch. So I got on the Stride VR80 by Ismodis. Uh... It, I have a James Mucklin 26 gauge Alien Clapton in here. Comes out to a 0.2 ohm, 70 watts, 3.74 volts. Let's have a vape. What we're going to do in this review, guys, is we're going to dive down. I'm going to show you the Hadley RDA. Going to throw a build in it for you. Wick it up, the whole nine. Show you the Ultim. Uh, drip tip that you can purchase as an accessory which I have on hand now and then we're going to come back up we're going to vape on it talk on it pros and cons final thoughts if mugger stole my book bag and this was in it when I go up and buy it let you know how much it is where you can find it and we'll wrap it up like usual all right so sit back relax grab a vape join me let's dive down and let's check out the Hadley RDA this is the package that it comes in. This is Cyclone Mods. Shout out to Matt Collison. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. The Hadley RDA. Beautiful logo. I love his logo. He has a great mod as well. DNA 200. Things fucking ill. All right. So it comes in this beautiful packaging, 22 millimeter RDA. Hadley RDA, baby. Pop the top. Take that out. I'm gonna get you. RDA and uh, additional O-rings, additional clamps, a squonking 510 pin. All right, so plenty of extra goodies. But you get one clamp. You get one clamp. You don't get two. All right. Wish it came with two clamps. Very nice packaging. You also can get the uh, Ultim drip tip. It's going to come separate. I have it on there now. But it uh, comes like that. And that is the Delrin that comes with it. Okay. So here's the IDA, ladies and gentlemen. It says Hadley on the side. That's the airflow. All right. It's going to say Cyclone Hadley. My serial number 11151. Peak insulator, protruding 510 pin. You can use on a hybrid. That's the Ultim 510 drip tip, which I'll be using. All right, shout out to James Mucklin. He was going to let me uh, use his to do a review, but Mac Carlson was kind enough to send this to me. It's 22 millimeters in diameter. Stainless steel construction, a peak insulator, adjustable airflow control, meticulously engineered to deliver airflow properly to the Underside of the coils at four different points and angles. Proven computational fluid dynamics. I don't know what the hell he's talking about. Two post innovative style deck. Cyclone new coil clamping system. CCS for effortless coil installation. CCS providing great connection for both wattage and TC modes. Large flathead clamp screws. Deep juice well with plenty of room for wicking. Designed for all styles of vaping. Black downward drip tip included. Bottom feet of 510 pin included. All right. So this is the top cap. That's the AFC. That's the airflow control. Four holes in general. Nice conical design in there. All right. Cleaned it out for you guys. Okay. Very nice, man. This is where all the, the uh, this is where all, it all happens. Two O-rings, nice tolerance. The airflow is going to be under the posts. 
peak cancel, as you can see, that's the positive, that's the negative, that's the clamping style situation. It's a little bit weird. <laughs> it's a little different, in my opinion. Um, I like it. It's unique. Big block of peak all throughout the positive. Okay. All right. See, and that's how it works. Like, you get your lead in there. And, uh, yeah. Very unique. So you can just slide it in. See that? You can slide it in, and then it's going to clamp down on it. And then the airflow is going to hit from both sides. The coil is going to be here, right? Wicks. And the airflow is going to hit directly on both sides of it. So you want to get your coil just like that, maybe a little bit lower, and it's going to hit it from both sides, which is nice, all right? So let's, uh, you guys seen plenty of reviews. Let's do a build, all right? You've probably seen plenty of reviews on this. Let's do a build, squad. I'm going to take an AN80 James Mucklin 26-gauge Alien. That's next to the CS MNT 24, so it's really small. See you guys up top. Yeah, back from the close up on the Hadley RDA. It rhymes, yes. It all it it not only functions beautifully, but it rhymes beautifully. Uh, beautiful O-rings. Okay, you could take it off and on very nicely. The machining on this is uh, top notch. Top notch machining. Um, Beautiful O-rings on two O-rings on the deck, which I like. Very unique airflow. It has this uh, four airflow holes that hit two from each side of the coil at an angle, um, directly under the coil. So it's going like at an angle under the coil and up. <clears throat> I think it has the perfect draw for a single coil. Nice build deck. It's a very unique build deck. I mean, it fires pretty damn nice for a single coil. Very easy to put builds in here. It's got the perfect clamping system. Very conductive. I mean, it chucks for a single coil RDA, I must say. Plenty of room for your cotton. A nice deep juice well. Uh, I don't really have any problems uh, with leaking. Um, as long as you really don't over drip too much. I could put about a vial in this. And usually I put a vial in a dual coil RDA, so a 24 millimeter RDA. So um, this thing holds a substantial amount of e-liquid. 
plenty of room for your cottons. And I love that the airflow is hitting behind and under the coil. That's why you're getting great, great flavor. It's a nice looking IDA. Um, you're going to have battery life for days because single coil, I can have it on a 80 watt device just like uh, the VR80 Stride by Asmodis. <clears throat> That's what I've been rocking it on. I think that looks very nice with the stainless steel accent. I have a uh, 70 watts. It's a 0 0.19, 0 0.2 ohm build, 3.73 volts. And I got some donut tea juice in here. Let's have a vape. It's got a beautiful drawer on it, ladies and gentlemen. This thing has the perfect draw for a single coil IDA, in my opinion. Um, perfect amount of airflow. Perfect draw. Swooshy airflow under the coil at an angle. That definitely makes a huge, substantial difference with flavor and vapor production. Specifically flavor. Um, 22 millimeters in diameter. Uh, it's not going to have any overhang. Uh, you know, that's... Doesn't look it looks it looks nice on a lot of devices. That's on the RX Mini. Ha, ha, ha. I mean that that is just a beautiful setup. It's gonna look great on a lot of your devices. Uh, your mini mods, small small box mods. Okay, uh, that's a pro. You could get this Ultim Drip Tip, which I would definitely recommend to get. It's a little small bugger. The nitty gritty on the Hadley IDA. This has the best flavor for a single coil IDA. That I've ever had. This is my favorite single coil IDA, hands down. I've never had an IDA that was a single coil option only that performed as well as this does. This is my favorite single coil IDA. A lot of people told me about it. I didn't know. You know, I, I looked at it. I said, eh, you know, I, I don't know. You know, I just kind of blew it off. But I'm very happy that I didn't blow it off. I'm very happy that Mac Carlson sent it to me for the purpose of this review because if a mugger stole my book bag and this was in it and I was on the train, I would go out and buy this in one second of a heartbeat. This has got to be my favorite single coil IDA of all time. All time. I know, I'm saying a lot. Just the performance off this thing, the ease, the ease of building on it, the way that the airflow works, the draw on it is just out of this world. It is just 100% on point. I don't have any cons to it. There's no cons. It's very hard for me to say that, but um, there isn't any cons. There's just not. It has the perfect draw. That's subjective. Okay. A nice juice well. Easy to build on. Um... It's just phenomenal. It's a phenomenal IDA. I mean, the flavor is the flavor on this is almost almost as good as a dual coil. This isn't for major cloud production. This is a flavor IDA. Okay, it has decent vapor production, but this is most definitely for flavor. I mean, look at that. <laughs> Kidding me? On the Bushido Samurai mods, brass. All right, I got to do a review on this, but. Um, Great little stealthy setup with the Ultim drip tip to match the brass in a way. I think that is a gorgeous, gorgeous setup. You can use it on a hybrid as well. It's hybrid safe. I got it on a hybrid right now. I highly recommend it, man. I definitely highly recommend the Hadley IDA. You can find it at CycloneMods.com. Link on screen and description. That's what's sent from. That's where you can find it. Now, the price point is $70.50. $70.50, not a bad price point. It's a little bit on the pricey side. <laughs> not a bad price point. It is a little bit on the pricey side, but it's authentic. And it's it's worth it because it's my favorite single coil IDA. The performance, the engineering, the, the initiative, the uh, innovation that went into this IDA is by far worth it 100%. Um, you know, there's some more authentic IDAs that cost a little bit more. There's some that cost a little bit less, but this bad boy is very, very nice. That's what I got for you today, squad. I hope you found the video helpful or informative. If you did, you know what to do. 
Content daily, 1080p, 60 frames. Don't waste your bandwidth not being subscribed to the channel. Stay juiced up, squad. Smoking is gone. Vaping is on. Let's vape on. I'll catch you guys on the next one, man. I'm enjoying this bad boy. Peace.